My sister's super here. My brother sits right here. Amber Reyes proudly shows off the bedroom she shares with her three siblings. And my sister sleeps right here, and sometimes I will sleep with her. There are 13 people in all crammed into this three-bedroom Charlotte home. It's fun. It's never boring. <laughs> It's always something going on. Stephen Reyes is a single dad. Uh, the Superman shirt. Who proudly wears the Superman shirt his kids got him for Father's Day. It's not impossible, but it's not very easy. You know, it's, not, it, it's tough. He and his kids moved in with his mom when his wife left in 2010. The biggest struggle for real, not, you know, to me was just making sure that they didn't feel it. You know, um... I just made sure that every weekend I'm here with them, that, you know, that they're okay, and um, that I know they miss them. I know they miss her. It was pretty hard, you know, like me growing up, being a, going into like that womanly stage. Yeah, it was hard, you know. I miss. A bunch of stuff I could have done with my mom, you know, like I have my aunt and my grandma and it kind of sort of replaces that. It, it would have been better if it was my mom. It's what we were faced with and my kids are strong, you know. Um, we went through it, we, we were going through it, you know. And, they're here, and they're smiling, and they're happy, and <laughs> so it's it's been a change. I know it's an adjustment for them, but I'm, I, 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 I pray and I hope to God that they understand one day, you know, that everything that we did, you know, and everything I did was for their well-being. Money is tight. You know, right now being a single dad and, you know, trying to provide for everything else and um, well, they, they love, like, when we go out to the mall, they'll say, let's, let's go to Barnes & Noble. And we were like, can I get this book? Like, it's like, sometimes I read it at school. You know, Amber will say, Dad, can I get this book? Oh, let me get the book over here. But then, like, there's some problems where we can't get it. What do you mean there's problems? Like, it's all, like, he doesn't, he doesn't have the money and stuff. It's, I wish I could give him that book, but sometimes... You know, power is more important, you know, food is more important than that book, so yeah. But ask the kids, they'll tell you reading is just as important. Fiction books, I like them because like, in your mind you can picture what's going on if they don't have pictures in the book. I'll read a book and I'll like get lost in it. I've noticed that it, it's helped them out. I'll read long books, short books. It's developed this broader imagination. Books with pictures, books without, mostly without pictures. You know, to where they're never bored, and they always have something going on in their, in their head. Every time I'm bored, I like, oh, okay, I should read instead of playing on my technology. If I'm bored, like one time in the summer, I, I go to my bookshelf, you know, grab a book, start reading. There are books in boxes, books on shelves. It's friends are rising. They are a hot commodity in this house. Something that, to me, it helps me out a lot. You know, when they can, you know, I don't have to, you know, think about that cost basically you know they, they they you know they've covered me on that on that aspect many of the books are from first book charlotte the kids have collected them over the years getting the books after their schools received first book grants oh i loved it like they gave me three books so uh i immediately take them home and i start reading them why why so fast because you know they're new books for me so. Thanks to your generosity, First Book Charlotte has given away more than 50,000 books just this year, almost half a million books since we were founded in 2006, all to kids whose families see books as a luxury. I think that's really awesome because they're actually thinking of the children who need books and then they donate. They're like, here's some money for the kids. Kids like the Reyes family. That was really great that People could get new books. Because even Superman sometimes needs a little help. Thank you, First Book Charlotte. Thank you, First Book Charlotte. Thank you, First Book Charlotte.